Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of an app that name of that app is Hiral. Okay, so this app is a tool. With the help of this app, you can encrypt and decrypt your data. And the feature of this app is not only limited to encryption and decryption, it contains some of the extra functionality which are very useful. Let me just explain this quickly. You can also download this app from the Play Store. Link of the app is already in the description or you can simply search on the Play Store for with the name Hiddle. Okay, so the application is already started. Let me just close this and let me start it once again so that we can see how exactly it's open. So this is the icon. I'm going to show how to develop step by step. Don't worry about that. So if I click on this, here you can see this one splash screen is open and after that we move back to our landing page. So I'm going to show you how to design that stuff. So here you can see the branding name over here, the app name Hiddle. And here you can type any text, encrypt text to encrypt, enter text to encrypt. And we have two buttons that is encrypt and decrypt. And here we have enter text to decrypt. So if I click on encrypt and here you can see this field empty, it means that nothing is here to encrypt. And if I click on decrypt, field empty. So if I try to enter something wrong like that, S A A something like this one, this is a plain text, but still I want to decrypt it. So here you can see this invalid encrypted data. It means that this one is recognizing that this data is invalid. Okay, now try to encrypt a valid plain text and try to encrypt it. So I'm going to encrypt one name that is btek days. And let me just click on this one. And if I try to encrypt it, and here you can see this, the data is encrypted. And the same data is copied to our clipboard. Whenever we encrypt any data, that data is copied to our clipboard. So let me just delete this. And let me just do one thing. As I have told you that data is already copied to the clipboard. So here you can see this, when I long press on this, it gives us an option to paste. If I paste it, here you can see there's this, that same data is over here. And if I try to decrypt it, here you can see this BDIC days is over here. So this is how this functionality works. And whenever you decrypt any data, now that decrypted data is copied. So if I paste it once again, here you can see this, the decrypted data is copied. So that's why the same data is visible over here. So I'm going to show you how to perform all of these operations. And how to encrypt and decrypt data. We are also going to prepare the class for that. And we are this encryption and decryption is happening on the basis of a key. So I'm going to show you how to set that key. For now, this app or this tool contains one messaging feature. So whatever the data I encrypt is being generated over here. So here you can see this. Now I have encrypted these data. You can see this right now I have generated encrypted this BTEC days. So for this BTEC days, we have one message over here. So you can see this. This is the encrypted text. So if I click on this, it will copy to the clipboard. And if I move back over here and type it over here and paste it and try to decrypt it again, we can see this. We have BTEC days. If I move back over here and if I copy this one and move back over here and try to paste it once again and try to decrypt this and here you can see this, we get this Kumar. If I move back over here, we can also search the name. So if I type KUM, here you can see this, we have this Kumar. And if I type PTEC, and if I move this one, here you can see this, only one is visible over here. Let me close this, and here you can see this, everything is visible over here. So this is already an encrypted text. So if I copy it and move back over here, and if I paste it, this is two time encrypted. So if I move back over here, you can see this, Encrypted text is again encrypted. So if I move back over here, let me just paste it, decrypt it. And you can see this, this one is also again copied. So if I paste it once again, and if I again decrypt it, and you can see this, this is Kumar, right? So if I move back over, here, this is Kumar encrypted two times. Okay, you can also delete the messages. So if I click on this, this will ask the user, are you sure you want to delete this message? If I click on confirm, here you can see this, this message deleted. Okay, so if I move back over here, here I'm going to do one thing, we take days, encrypt this, and now this encrypted key is copied, and again I want to encrypt this twice. So encrypt it, and here you can see this is encrypted twice. If I move back over here, here you can see this B take days for this one is this key, and for this key, here you can see this, we have this one. So if I copy this one, 
and move back over here paste this over here decrypt it and decrypt it twice so that you can get the actual key so this is how it works so the message is being generated only for the encrypted key not for the decrypted key okay whenever you are encrypting the history is generated and this apps give you permission that if you want to disable the history creation then you can do that too how so we have one tools section over here and before we go to the tools section we have one small button over here that is a share button so if i move back over here if i click on this here you can see this it's open how you want to share if it's installed in your actual device then it will show the option for whatsapp messages and everything other messaging services so i'm going to open just once and i'm going to select one random number and here you can see this that encrypted text is over here to ready to send so if i move back over here here you can see this h7 this one is over here so what happen is when you send this text to someone and he must need to download the same app and when it he puts this keys in the description box and paste click on this one then he will get the actual decrypted text so suddenly it comes in your mind right so how this app is secure suppose i have downloaded this app from the play store and i have shared that text to someone and one middleman person has also downloaded the same app and get that encrypted key and he or she can decrypt the text right so that's not going to happen why because if i go to this tools section here i have given you the permission to actually change the key okay so how we are going to change the key suppose i'm going to set the key 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i click on this one then it will not allow to set a that much simple key you your password should contains one small letter one caps letter one special character and one number so what you have to do is at the both end at the sender and the receiver end both have to use same key to encrypt and decrypt the password suppose i'm going to use btech days hash 12345 something like this and if i click on this change key now the my encryption key is changed now if i move back over here and if i copy this one and move back over here and just paste this over here and try to decrypt it here you can see this key changed or invalid encrypted data it means that you cannot decrypt this text which is encrypted with some different key so what happen you cannot decrypt these values now so what we have to do is let me just delete these value and try encrypting new values so if i move back over to the tools if we have one option to delete all messages if i click on this it will show ask for the confirmation are you sure you want to delete confirm and it will delete all the messages so if i move back over here you can see there's nothing you can find it now again i'm going to type kumar and encrypt it and now if i move back over here and copy this one and paste over here and click on decrypt and here you can see that this one is decrypted now again i am going to change the key so p take days hash 1 2 3 4 and change the key after this if i move back over here and again trying to decrypt the same value Okay, this is this invalid encrypted. Oh, not this one. So move back over here. Copy this one. Paste it and decrypt it. And you can see this key change or invalid encrypted key. So move back over here. Let me just try with this three four five. And move back over here and try to decrypt it once again. Here you can see this. Now we got this decrypted value. So this is how this password changing password feature helps to secure the data at the both the end. It means that if someone got your encrypted data and he or she doesn't know your encryption key, then he cannot decrypt that data, right? And here you can see that we have one feature that is enable disable message history. So if I move back over here to the home screen, here you can see this. If I type A B C and encrypt it, here if I move back over here, and if you can see this A B C, the history for this one is generated. So if I move back over and click on this, here you can see this. It's asking, Are you sure you want to disable message history creation? 
no message history will be made further. So click on confirm and here we see this message backup disabled. So if I click on this earlier message is available over here and if I move back over here ZYX and encrypt it you got the encrypted data and if I move back over here you can see this ZYX is not available over here. So you can enable and disable message history it's totally on your point in your right so if i enable this once again and it's again asking for the enable confirmation are you sure you want to enable message history creation by enabling you will have history of all message you encrypt so if i confirm and if i move back over here and again i'm going to type btec days something like this hello btec days not like this one just open it hello btec days and if i encrypt it if i move back over here here you can see this hello btec days and the data is encrypted now what is the next feature if i go to the tools and here you can see this we have enabled disable screen lock so what it does is suppose you have some crucial or critical data is in over here which you don't want to share with anyone if you share, give it someone the phone right so what you want is you want to put a lock in your application that is hidden, right? So how to do that? With the help of this enable and disable button, what it does is it put your lock screen lock over here, over this app. So in this phone, I have set the password 1234, the lock screen. Okay, so if I click on this and here you can see this, it's locked and if I open it and if I open like this, I have to enter one, two, three, four in order to open it. So whenever you enable this, that lock screen lock is automatically set over this app. So are you sure you want to enable a screen lock by enabling you have to use a screen lock to open. So if I confirm it and if I move back over here and let me just close the app. And let me open it once again. And here you can see this after this splash screen, it moved to the login screen. So let me be very clear. If you have added the face lock feature in your phone, if you have added the fingerprint, if you have added the pattern or any number lock, then it's going to ask the same thing. If you have the face lock, then it's going to ask for the face lock. If you have the password, then it's going to ask for the password. So we have added the password over here. So here you can see this, if I add something like this, and if I click on this, the app is open. So let me close this once again. And let me just open it and let me just click a back button. So whenever we click back button, it automatically closes my application. It means that validation has failed. So this is how it works. So let me just open it and try to enter some wrong password. Like this one, here you can see this wrong pin as visible over here. And if I type the valid password, here you can see this, we are entering into the, our application and we can see everything. So I'm going to explain every feature how this I have developed and I will see, share the everything, every icon, every stuff required for this one. Don't worry about this. And if I move back over here, here we have covered all the features over here. We have already seen the delete all messages. And with the help of this one, again, you can disable the screen lock. So if I click on confirm and if I let me just close this application and move back over here, click on hiddle. Here you can see this. This time it directly opens. This is how it works. So last screen is about us. Here you can see this. We have designed the complete scrollable content over here. So here if I click on this, it opens my YouTube channel in the browser. So make sure to subscribe so that you can get such type of interesting content regularly and keep updated yourself with new stuff. Okay. Next thing we have the stuff over here that is Instagram. If I click on this, it will open my Instagram page. This will open my Twitter and this is my email ID. If you have any queries or how to get the source code for this like that, then you can contact me on Instagram. And this is the my website URL where you can visit and learn a lot of stuff. And there you can find other projects too. And this is what we provide and when we provide more than this. So contact us once to know what exactly and how we can help you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to design this one also and every feature of this app. 
Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. In the next video onwards, I'm going to show you how to start the development of this. So I hope you are excited. So just hit the like button and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.